All right, Saturday night game, West Coast Eagles versus Port Adelaide. Power at Optus Stadium in Perth. Eagles going back home. Can I just say, the Eagles have looked as sluggish and as crap as we've seen them in a long period of time. Yeah. Disinterested. Gaff, the tap's been turned off. He's not getting his cheap little sloot touches out the back. He's not liking it. He's not working for his feed. He's not working for his beers in the evening, Desmond. Mm -hmm. And he's going home thirsty. Mm -hmm. Tell me I'm wrong. You're not wrong. I'm not wrong. Nick, Nick Nat said he uh, today... Gaff knows his value to us in other ways at the moment. His touches will What does come. that mean? No, they won't. And what what, Where is what good value? is it? Remember that I sent to you on the weekend. I sent to you and the you and the boys. Yeah, go on. Keep he'd, talking. Uh, he'd run eleven kilometers at the time yeah. during the game. Mm. This is the third quarter. Run eleven kilometers, which is elite. Yes, it is. Good for, running. For nine touches. Oh. Not even one touch per A kilometer. kilometer. That's disgraceful. Now that quote I, I, was, look, I, and I said to you guys at the like Captain Morgan asked us, yeah. what, what's happened to Gaff? Where's he gone? The fact is, there's no congestion, so there's no slut touches, which is what he prides himself on. They put him in the middle. He can't tackle because he's soft as pig shit, and that's just how it is. I don't, I don't, I don't care. Look, he's had last game, as you said. You said he's soft as uh, poos, and Nick Nat said he, we know his value in other ways. Sixteen touches from Gaff when he should be getting thirty mm -hmm. week in week out. Two tackles, mm -hmm. two tackles. Uh, Eleven kicks, which is something, but you know, two tackles. Where's the defensive pressure? He's running. Where is he running? Mm -hmm. Where is he running? I don't. I've, I didn't rate him anyway. Most, I didn't rate where him are you running, Andrew? Andrew? Most players who get low low possession games, yeah. they've got to add value in other ways, like defensive. Yeah. Push. Like we saw Willem Drew the other week yep. against uh, who they play first, the, North um, Melbourne. Yes, uh, only had about seventeen touches, eleven tackles, eleven tackles. If, you, if you're not get, if you're not getting the touches, nice. and you don't have to get eleven, but no. I'm just saying, if you're not getting the touches, you got to get the hugs. Put the effort yeah. in. And Gaff's getting neither. Just the yeah, just those what do they call it the one those one percenters the like the. Anything doesn't even have to be tackles. None Just of them. Are and pressure. as you said, I think that's sort of indicative of the the whole squad. In saying that, I don't think they played poorly against the Dogs. I actually think they were, you know, sort of borderline able to win that game. Um, and they probably missed a few opportunities that they should have taken. Um, I'm still going to need to see more to be a, a believer. But because at the minute it looks like Sheed and Kelly and Duggan to an extent are doing all the all the work in the middle. It looks like Hearn is doing all the work in the back line. Mm -hmm. And outside of that, in the forward line, you've got the same old heads of Kennedy doing everything and Oscar Allen <laughs> running around, doing a bit here, doing a bit there. Need to see more. Yeah. Need to see yeah. more. Yeah. And it's at, look, let's put West Coast to the side. We need none more of that chat. Forget that. Port Adelaide. Let's talk about it. Butters, Wines, and Houston. If you just said to me 12 months ago that those three are going to be leading the charge for Port Adelaide this year, I'd been like, I don't know about that one, Chief. But leading lights for Port at the minute, those three. Unbelievable. Wines has always been around the mark. He just no, the, the last few years he's been struggling with injuries and all that off field stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but he's yeah certainly coming through pretty strong at the moment. And Zach Butters, yeah, it's, freak. Zach but Butters has, has him oh, the emergence. Yeah. The, the, oh. the only thing with Zach Butters, it was against Essendon. So now you now you got a chance to do it against a, a good team. I think he will. The tails but, up, but. But show us, you know, give, give us a bit more. Um, and so far, Port's done nothing to dissuade me from thinking they're going to be there no, in they, September. They haven't, but I still come back, and maybe I'm being a bit harsh, but look, in the last, what, five, six weeks, they've played the Crows twice. They've played Essendon. They've played North, okay? Mm -hmm. These are not world-beating teams. No, no, they no. did what was required of them, and they should be sitting top. If you were given, if Richmond was given that, that run, they'd be sitting top too. I agree. Now, I, we're now going to see Port go, and it's a tough assignment in the West against West Coast, who, you know, they're still dangerous. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're hobbled a bit, but they're dangerous. Mm -hmm. This will be a much better test for Port. I still think they're getting it done. I'm tipping them 1 to 39. Uh, big question mark, though, over Charlie Dixon. I feel like he's a bit of a downhill skier at the minute. Loves beating up on a, on a, simple, on a simplistic little back line. I want to see what he does over in the West. I think we've known that all along about Dixon yeah. anyway. I feel like it's not... Uh, it's a narrative he uh, likes to write, but until Port show me that they're not a, that they're not a team that <clears throat> can get it done against all sides, I'm going to back them in every time. One to thirty nine, mm -hmm. they have a good record in Perth as well. They have not a good bad, record yeah. in Perth. Um, yep. I will because uh, I always remember being disappointed when they go over there and uh, sneak a sneak a win <laughs> that they shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. But nah, Port one to thirty nine. All your points are spot on about both sides. West yep. Coast have been underwhelming in in parts. They've shown some good footy, but real underwhelming in parts. Yep. It's probably the worst West Coast. In, in my generation of footy, I, I think it's a fair call. I'm, I'm still a spring chickens, but in my, yeah. I, I remember, like, I think 2015, West Coast made that granny that year, I believe. 
believe they did against. They, they made it one year against Hawthorne. They play, They did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did play one year. Like one so, they've been playing great footy for yeah. for years and years, and even before that, they were always around the mark. And this is like the worst mm. footy I've ever seen them play. Besides their kind of rough patch last year, but mm. I don't know if this if this patch could be around for the for the time being. Yeah. It might not be a phase because of the hub. So Port one to thirty nine. Yeah, do you have any bet, Do you have any bets for us? Unfortunately, no. No, it's all right. have the bets, he's, too, he's too busy getting Christmas, Christmas decorations sorted out. No, mate. see, Leave I like, the man he's, been, he's been sensible the last five minutes. I like this side of Des. It's a sensible. It's it's oh it's he, there's he, no he, stocking. I've been get, I've been stocking up the stocking. If I have a look in here, there's no bet. No bet. No bet. <laughs> Just like Carlton in 2025. Yeah. No bets. Uh, bets for me. Hit me. Jamie Cripps, anytime goal, dollar forty. Like yeah. that. There's not much value in the goals market, so I went it's really straight short. off that. Yeah. Um Carl Amon, twenty plus. Yeah. Two dollars twenty five. I think that's pretty good value. And DBJ twenty plus dollar fifty seven. We saw against the Eagles uh a few weeks ago, Gold Coast defenders absolutely stat up because they're quite happy to just chip the ball around the expanses of Optus. Mm-hmm. Um so I expect DBJ to get on the end of a couple of those. He hasn't had that so far this year, but your logic stacks up. He has not. Well, he's played your logic against stacks Essendon, up. Essendon and North Melbourne hasn't been going, going down. Well, so. against, your logic stacks against, up too. Against the Eagles, uh, Optus a few weeks ago, three Gold Coast players took 14 marks. That you, tells you, you what you need to know. You would think that a couple of the Port boys are going to be getting on the end of the same thing. And I expect the game style to be exactly the same because West Coast like to play that chip around the back, sort of bomb it up the line. Port will do the same thing. They both set up well defensively, so I like that as value. I'm with you on that one. A uh, little multi here. Mitch Georgiades, one goal. He had four last week. Lock him in. Uh, Motlop, big boy. Big bakery Motlop. Mm-hmm. Put him down for a goal as well. He's in arguably his best start to a season ever. It's He's looking elite the last month. Unbelievable. There, there really is not much to argue. Uh, you can't argue. It's credit where it's due. Georgiades, one goal. Motlop, one goal. Fantasia, two goals. Tim Kelly, Slim Jim Tim. 25 touches, paying about $4.50, that little lot. Love it. Yes. Orazio has been a lot better than I thought. I'm a stunned. Better. I'm stunned about it. I didn't expect much from Orazio. I'm not going to lie. And I like Orazio purely for, like, just think about who I am Mm-mm. and think about Orazio Fantasia. <laughs> like, it, of course, I'm going to like that and find mm-hmm. to the hype. But yep. so I'm very, very impressed. And I, and I like that. 